you. Tell me, tell me who you are. <laughs> a child of God. <laughs> Let me just say this before I start. Grace, mercy, glory. The love of God is why I'm here today. Without that love loving me in my sin, I would not be here. And it started on a wild night of a jazz club. I was sitting there drunk as a cooter. <laughs> That's Cajun talk. Drunk as a cooter. I got up. I had already tried to commit suicide twice in my life. I got up out of that seat, went to the bathroom, looked in the mirror, and looking back at me was demons just looking back at me. And I said, God, with my hands raised up, help me. The next day, the partner I was with, let me just say this, I lived in the gay lifestyle for 20 plus years. I thought that was the way I was. That's the way I was born. That's the way God made me. I had a deep feeling in my heart that that was who I was. But the next day after that encounter, God brought me to Metro Church where I was asked when I got into the parking lot, and I'm with my partner at this point, because he brought me there. The usher said, what Sunday school class do you want to go to? <laughs> I, and I'm just like, I'm dressed in leather. I had an operation on this arm. I was 43 years old. My partner's 20 years old. And he said, what class do you want to go to? And my friend said, my partner said, college and career. <laughs> and he looked at me and what class do you want to go to? College and career. <laughs> so I walked downstairs to the college and career class. The teacher wasn't there. You have to realize my background is Catholic, raised, born Catholic, raised in a Catholic school. I was totally Catholic. So I go into this room and these kids are sitting there. I sit down and they're talking about their walk with Jesus. Well, I'm going, their walk with Jesus? What are they talking about? And they go around the room and they come to my partner and they said, and what about you? He said, well, I'm a homosexual. I'm a drug addict. I'm an alcoholic. And they just all got up out of their chair and laid their hands on him and started praying for him. And believe you me, my knees were knocking because I was next. <laughs> I said to myself, I will not say one word. But they turned to me and they said, what about you? And out of my mouth came drug addict, alcoholic, I mean, we were so addicted to cocaine, it was unbelievable. We tied $1,000 a week to the enemy for our cocaine. And you know what? God still was there. Come on. They got on their knees and they started praying for Wayne and Scott Wayne saved. They finished with that and said, come on, let's go upstairs. So they brought me upstairs to Pastor Culpepper, introduced me to him, and he just looked at me and said, hi, how are you? Sat me on the first row, put a Kleenex box in my hand, <laughs> and I'm going to my partner, what's that for? <laughs> I'm there waiting for snakes to crawl around. <laughs> but it didn't happen. I sat there and the sermon was, but God. Yeah, amen. I sat there through the whole sermon, used the whole box of Kleenex. Wow. Crying, crying, and didn't know what, what is happening here, what's going on in my life. And so after that, Pastor Culpepper in all his glory brings me up to the stage, turns us around, the two of us, and said, this is so-and-so, Wayne, and my partner's name. He said, I just want you to love them. 
They got saved today in college and career. <laughs> and I'm going, what am I doing here? <laughs> I walked down from the stage. It took us 30 minutes to get out of the church, maybe even an hour. Guess what? It was Valentine's Day. <laughs> God saved me on Valentine's Day. Wow. Wow. So as I walked through this salvation that I didn't know what it was, I was given two counselors who didn't know what they were doing, talking to a guy coming out of the gay lifestyle, and they didn't know what to say or do. It was two Judy and Tommy Morrow sitting right here. So we go into the class and we sit down, and they started, and I said, look, God is love, I love my partner, my partner loves me. You are not gonna change my mind. The turning point was right there in my life. She said, Judy said, we don't wanna change your mind. We just wanna love you right where you are. And if your mind needs changing, God will change yeah. you. Wow. All of that to say that is what Free My Children is about, the ministry of freedom. We want to show God's love. I don't want to talk about your sin. I want to talk about God, the character of God, the love of God. And if your mind needs changing, God's going to change it. I'm not. I cannot change your orientation. I cannot change your pornography. I cannot change any sexual sin you in. But God can change yes. them if you learn the character of God and the love of God. And that is my testimony, which is not mine. It's God's testimony. <laughs> so God loves you right where you are, no matter what. Amen. 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 Well, <laughs> here on Tuesday nights at what time? At 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock, and uh, you can get more information uh, if you know someone. It's not just obviously for homosexuality, it's for anybody broken um, in, in addiction, sexual addiction, sexual brokenness. And let me tell you something. This this is living proof. Not only did he he, he uh, left his partner, he married this beautiful lady. Where's Hanano? Hanano, they got two kids. Hannah's filming right now, and her, her husband right now. They have two children. They've got grandchildren. Let me tell you something. And his partner, uh, cover his name, but... He got married to a woman. He's got kids, and he's in ministry now. Let me tell you something. God is a redeeming, revolutionary.